Hi, I'm Risha Victoria of Accessories. In this video, I will show you how to do an oval base for your bag or purse project. This is good for multiples of two or three type of stitch pattern. Stitch pattern, by the way, is the combination of two or more basic stitches to form a pattern. Sample of which are shell stitch, V stitch, uh, puff stitch, crocodile stitch, and so on. This is how it looks when you finish it. And at the end, I will show you how to make this kind of pattern using the post of the previous single crochet. Add to that is the usual method of using a front or back loop of a stitch to form the side of the bag or purse. This is your material, the tiny cord, and your hook. I'm using the 5 slash 0 hook for this fried check. We shall begin with slip knot. And your foundation chain of 45. This is your 44th and 45th. Then single crochet on the second chain from hook. Then single crochet until you reach 43rd chain. We're almost done. This is how it looks. 43 single crochets. Now let's put a marker. Then we will increase the row by 3 single crochets into the 44th chain of the foundation chain and then we begin row 2 again single crochet 43 times Almost done with row 2. Now this is how it looks. We will put a marker on the 43rd single crochet. And then Three single crochets on the first chain of row one. And then we begin row three. Again, single crochet for the three times on top of single crochet on row one. I think it's a couple of more single crochets. Then we reach the marker. Put this aside. And another single crochet. Turn it back. Now 
And now, we will increase the row by single crochet two times into each single crochet of the previous row. We will have at the end six single crochets. Let's take a look of our project. Now row 4, also single crochet 43 times. Almost done in row 4. Few more single crochets. Uh, we will do now the increase two single crochets on top of a single crochet. We'll do that three times. But let me put back the marker. Let's continue the increase. Two single crochets on top of two single crochet. That's the second and the third. Then single crochet to start row 5. But let me first put back the marker so we cannot lose our stitches. Again. All the sides, it's 43 single crochets. Let's take a look at our project. Two more single crochets before the marker. Let's take out the marker. Then single crochet, two single crochets, put back the marker, I uh, already have two single crochets, then one single crochet, then two single crochets, and then one single crochet, two single crochets. Then one. We do now have a nice oval shape. Continue. Let's remove the marker. The three single crochet for row six. This would be our last row. Let's put back the marker. Then single crochet until you reach the marker. So 
So almost done with row six. Reach the marker. This is the 43rd single crochet of row 6 and we will do the increase. Two single crochets. Let me put back the marker. Then one single crochet, two single crochets, that's two, one single crochet, two single crochets, that's three, oops, one single crochet. Uh, we are actually done with our oval base project. Now let's determine the number of stitches to utilize our oval base project. As for this case, I need 35 stitch pattern of multiples of 3 and that is 105 stitches. Based on the formula above, rows 1 and 2 gives us 92 stitches. Rows 3 and 4 gives us 98 stitches. Rows 5 and 6 gives us 104 stitches. So it is one less of a stitch, but it's fine with me. Remember that every increase gives you 6 stitches. If you want to increase more, follow note number 1. And you may now have the option to shorten and widen your oval base project for your bags or purse. This is our finished oval base project. We will do now as promised the side of the bag using single crochet on the back post of the previous single crochet. First, put this off. Slip a stitch on the first single crochet, then chain 1 to increase the row. Insert the hook from the back of the first single crochet, then to the front, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through on two loops. This is your first single crochet using the back loop. Then repeat the process by inserting the hook on the back post of the single crochet, then to the front, then pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through on two loops. Again, insert the hook from the back post to the front, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through on two loops. Repeat one more time. Now you can see that two loops of the previous single crochet remains untouched and gives a nice pattern and it's forming the side of the bag. Let's do another one. Do the remaining stitches. No more increases this time as you reach the sides. Then I will be back when I reach the last marker. We have reached the marker. Then keep doing the remaining stitches. As I've said, no more increases.
then slip stitch on the first single crochet of the row then chain one this project is now ready for another rows of single crochets or any stitch pattern for your bag projects next one is uh, using the back loop of a single crochet We will start with slip stitch and chain 1. These are the two loops of Freebio single crochet. I hope you can see it. This is the front loop and this is the back loop. Insert the hook and make single crochet on that loop. Another single crochet. Continue on single crochet. As you can see, one loop isn't worked and makes a nice pattern. Unlike with the one using the post of single crochet, two loops are visible do the remaining stitches until you reach the marker continue single crochet on back loop no more increases needed slip stitch and chain one it is now ready for your bug project i think that's all for today thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel also comment down below the crochet tutorial you want next till next time